We love reading at our house, and today we're gonna to be showing you all of these books. These are my kids and my favorite picture books, fiction and nonfiction. So if you would like to know what we love to read, you're gonna to wanna to stick around. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rosalyn and I just want to welcome you back to my channel. If you have never been here before, I am a Jesus loving homeschool mom living in Croatia and I do keto. And so I am going to be showing you today all of the books that we love, that we're loving in our house. Some of them are going to be uh, familiar titles. Some of them are going to be familiar titles translated in Croatian. Some of them are going to probably be brand new to you. And so I will try to link uh, as many of those books as I can in the description box below. But before we get started moving through this list rather quickly, um, I just want to let you know that this video is in collaboration with Jennifer from Family at Three Homeschool. I love her channel so much. Um, she and I have sort of been on similar projects together before and um, she, her channel is all about homeschooling her fifth grader and I love that because I also have a fifth grader. And so um, I've gleaned a lot from her. I have um, gained so much inspiration from her. So you definitely wanna check out her channel. You'll find that in the description box below as well as the playlist for this collaboration because there will be other mamas who are going to be sharing with you what their favorite fiction and nonfiction uh, picture books are and so if you are needing to sort of refresh your library or expand it or just find some fun new books for your kids to read, you're going to definitely want to check out that playlist. I know I will be. I will say that these are our favorite physical picture books that we have, but our Kindle is also uh, quite uh bulging at the seams with books and so um we're just going to be looking at the ones that we can flip and hold and smell and everything so let's go ahead and get started <clears throat> the first one i want to show you this is one that you're probably not going to find in english anywhere this is a story written by a very famous croatian author um, this is The Adventures of Hlapic, and it is about a, um, a kid that is doing a, an apprenticeship um, at a cobbler and how he runs away and all of the adventures that he experiences, and it has a very happy ending. Um, this is an abridged version of that book. It has wonderful pictures in it, beautiful, colorful pictures of all of his different adventures. My fifth grader loved this. He read this in, I wanna say second or third grade, but I do believe it was second grade. And so um, I'm really looking forward to having my younger son read that. Even though he is in third grade, his reading comprehension is still a little bit behind. So we've kind of put that off for now. <clears throat> this one might be a familiar one to you. This is a nonfiction. Obviously, this is the human body, but I love how it has this three-dimensional look at the body with these beautiful overlays and wonderful depictions, pictures, and things of the human body and how it functions in all of the different systems of our body. Um, then we have a similar one this is of course planet earth this is an encyclopedia of planet earth and the illustrations in this are so amazing this is one that uh, my third grader got for christmas and so it's going to be fun to really delve deep into um, into this and to just explore all of the wonderful information that is in this beautiful beautifully illustrated book I believe um, this one, I believe, is translated. So this one is another one, nonfiction book, a science book. This is um, Sharks. And again, it has that beautiful 3D overlay um, so that you get a wonderful view of these sharks. My kids, of course, love sharks. And of course, you know, when we do Shark Week, then this really just comes alive. So there you go. 
now we have these national geographic books and the first big book of why and then this one is a croatian translated one my big book of animals and again the just beautifully illustrated now here is one that i love this is how do machines work and so um it's fun it has it's you know illustrated really really well but then you have all of the parts to this inside so as you can see it opens up and then it has i'm not going to take it all out for you but it has these like circles and um this blue part here it has these pegs and so you can actually make different types of machines looking at the instructions in this book now this next one is probably going to be familiar to you this one is in english it looked like spilt milk i remember reading this when i was little and as you can see it is well loved we inherited this actually from my sister so it was well loved in her family and now it's well loved in our family this is uh the dreams um that brought us electricity it is the book about nikola tesla if you have never studied nikola tesla i really encourage you just get on wikipedia and um, study him he did work together with uh, thomas edison at one point um, and uh, was an amazing inventor and he comes from our part of the world he is from the former yugoslavia and lived and grew up here in croatia also be looking on my son's channel linked below on his homeschooling channel he is going to be doing a video about his research on nikola tesla these next two books are bible books and so um, these are jesus heals and the mission of jesus and i just love these books and how beautifully illustrated they are with real life uh, pictures and just wonderful. Now these are for older children, so it is still a picture book, but um, it has so much information. And so these, these are definitely for older children, but they really just dig down deep into, um, into Jesus and um, into what the word says. So it's not just about a little Bible story. These are really more like, almost like devotional books for older children. So now we get to some holiday books. This is uh, the Thanksgiving story. I don't know if you've ever read this. This is a, probably a familiar one to some. I love the illustrations. They're just very beautiful and so colorful. And the story is wonderful. We read this book every year for Thanksgiving. This one is probably also very familiar, The Legend of the Candy Cane. We love this book and the illustrations are absolutely breathtaking and gorgeous let's find a page here so let's see this is obviously a, a christmas story but look at those illustrations look at how just beautiful it is and just how warm and inviting these pictures are my kids absolutely love this book it's definitely one of their favorites here is one actually that was written and illustrated by um, a child of one of my husband's co-workers here in Croatia. So this is um, a courageous Jura and Legvan Ivan uh, travel around the world. And um, it's about these little animals. And is, aren't these pictures just absolutely precious? And it's about how they visit all of these different countries and all of the different animals that they see in all of the different countries and continents around the world and it's just beautiful the story is so precious we have read that several times and of course my children are also very uh, impressed by the fact that one of my husband's co-workers children wrote that book now this is written by my godfather ed murphy and so this is such a it's a, just a precious book and it's about the, these wogs that are everywhere and then they suddenly disappeared. And so a wog is a tiny little creature. It's smaller than an elephant, but it is bigger than a grasshopper. That's what he says. And so my kids, and we have read this several times and it is just, gotta get it just right for the camera. Um, it is just a precious book and I just love how it's just very colorfully illustrated, but it's a fun book. It's a funny book and very, very fun and super imaginative. This one is definitely going to be a familiar one to you, but it is written in Croatian. So um, 
guess how much I love you. This is one of those books that I barely can read the last page without just falling all apart. My kids are like, mom, are you crying? I'm like, no, 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 allergies. <laughs> Um, but obviously just a precious, precious classic book that I think you probably have read with your children many times as a bedtime story. My children still love this book, even though they're, they're older. I, I think probably my older son would have trouble admitting that he loves this book, but he does. Okay, so the next several books are obviously Dr. Seuss. Now we have even more than this, but I just grabbed these three obviously just fun favorites and Dr. Seuss definitely needs no introduction from me and these next ones are some classics corduroy my children absolutely loved this book you know and for me it's so nostalgic because you have these pictures of the department store where he was at you know and those of you who are my generation or even a generation younger than me you'll remember you know, so many of these department stores with the lines of beds and furniture and all of that and the escalators and everything. I just love the book Corduroy and the message of the book is so, so precious. My children adore this book. Um, this one also a fun one. You may have grown up reading this book like I did, Sammy the Seal by Sid Hoff. Um, my son loved this. He read it a few times in first grade and it was so much fun and just, you know, all of the precious adventures and so imaginative and the illustrations are just so fun. And we have, um, obviously Saggy Baggy Elephant. We love this one and the Pokey Little Puppy. Again, two books that I grew up reading, you know, the nostalgic uh, golden books. We absolutely love these. The Pokey Little Puppy. My son read this book several times in first grade and then um, we ended up going to the States to visit my parents and there in JC Penney's they were selling a stuffed Pokey Little Puppy that looks exactly like this one and of course he had to buy it because he just loves animals anyway and so this book was just right down his alley. Okay, so no, those are my favorites, but I asked my kids to pick out their favorites. And so now we're gonna start with my oldest son's um, favorite books. Let's just grab these real quick. Now, the he is in fifth grade. He's kind of out of picture books now. And so he grabbed these and I said, well, these aren't exactly picture books. And he says, but they have pictures in them. They do have, illustrations in them. So I guess we'll just let them give them a pass. But this is his favorite series. I don't know if your kids have ever read these books by John Bybee, but this is the Magic Bicycle series. And we were gifted these books and oh my word, he loves them. I have to say these books are really what took him from hating reading to loving reading. And as he was reading The Magic Bicycle, he would actually ask me, Mom, can I read some more today? And I was like, uh, yes, <laughs> absolutely. You don't have to ask that. Just grab your book and read as much as you want. And so he has loved these so far. Now, I think we've read like the first two so far. And so, um, yes, we're just moving through them slowly, sort of like, you know, making them last as long as we possibly can. He absolutely loves those books. And then the other two that he picked were the Brick Bible books. So we have the Old Testament and the New Testament, and my kids loved these books. I have to say that as he read, he's read both of these, and um, as he was reading them, he really began to understand the Bible and the order of events in the Bible so much more. We've had a lot of discussions about the Bible stories that he read in these books and how much he comprehended. I believe it was his connection. Of course, he loves Legos. And so that connection of Legos and the illustrations and, um, and all of that just really sort of made the Bible come alive for him in a different way. So these are fun and he loves those. I think he's probably going to be reading those also again another time. So my younger son um, will just grab a stack of these because uh, actually all of these might be the same. They are, well, we have all but, yes, these are all Thomas books. <laughs> my son loves Thomas the Train 
and he has loved Thomas the Train since he was about one years old. He used to walk around with a plastic Thomas train wherever he went. He was sort of known for being the Thomas boy. Um, all of our in life, real, you know, in real life friends know how much my son still loves Thomas the Train. So all of those books, he's read all of those. Um, I have to do an honorable mention because it didn't make it in a stack, but he loves also a picture book like this one, Toy Story. He has one of um, planes and he loves planes. And so um, those two are his favorite. And those were his picks. And so I hope that you enjoyed our uh, fiction and nonfiction picture books. So we have in here some science, we have in here some biographies, we have some fun stories, we have some classics, we um, have uh, some what my son would consider picture books because they have pictures in them <laughs> for older children, chapter books, um, and just, you know, some fun reading that go along with their favorite cartoon characters. And so we just really covered the gamut. Um, if you liked this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comments, what are your kids' favorite picture books? Also, don't forget to check out um, Jennifer's channel. Uh, and also be sure to check out that playlist below because you're going to want to see what other moms are sharing about their favorite books. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.